Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. I've journeyed back to your time, a period I find deeply fascinating, not just for its rich history, but also for the unexplored mysteries that lie beneath the vast expanse of your world's largest ocean, the Pacific. The Pacific Ocean, as you well know, is the biggest and deepest ocean on planet Earth. It spans over 60 million square miles, more than twice the size of the world's second largest ocean, the Atlantic. In my time, we've explored galaxies and unearthed the secrets of the universe, but the mystique of the Pacific Ocean still holds a special allure. The ocean got its name from the explorer Ferdinand Magellan in 1521 during his circumnavigation of the globe. He named it Mar Pacifico, meaning peaceful sea, in Portuguese, due to the calmness of the ocean during his voyage. Despite its tranquil name, the Pacific has always been a place of great power and unpredictability, with its vast storms and violent seismic activity. The Pacific Ocean is not just water, but a living world in itself, teeming with a rich diversity of life forms, many of which are yet to be discovered in your time. From the smallest plankton to the largest blue whale, the food chain of the Pacific is an intricate and fragile web of life. The ocean's surface is a dynamic environment, where countless species interact in a complex dance of life and death. Here, you can find the majestic albatross gliding effortlessly over the waves, the cunning dolphin hunting in packs, and the formidable great white shark, the apex predator of the sea. Beneath the surface, the Pacific is a realm of darkness and pressure, where only the most adapted creatures can survive. Here in the abyss, bizarre forms of life thrive, such as the anglerfish with its eerie bioluminescent lure, the giant squid locked in eternal combat with the sperm whale, and the gulper eel, an alien-like creature with an enormous mouth and a tiny body. The Pacific Ocean is also home to the world's largest coral reef system, the Great Barrier Reef. Spanning over 1,400 miles, it's a wonderland of biodiversity, with a myriad of colorful fish, corals, and other marine species. The reef is a treasure trove of life, a testament to the adaptability and resilience of nature in the face of adversity. The Pacific's islands, scattered like jewels across its vast expanse, hold their own unique wonders. The Galapagos Islands, for instance, are a living laboratory of evolution, where Charles Darwin formulated his theory of natural selection. Here, giant tortoises lumber across the volcanic landscape, while marine iguanas, the world's only seagoing lizards, bask on the rocky shores. Farther south, the Polynesian islands tell a story of human ingenuity and adventure. The ancient Polynesians were expert navigators, using the stars, winds, and waves to voyage across the open ocean in their double-hulled canoes. They settled remote islands like Hawaii, Tahiti, and Easter Island, leaving a rich cultural legacy that continues to this day. The Pacific Ocean also plays a crucial role in regulating the Earth's climate. The ocean acts as a massive heat sink, absorbing and distributing solar energy around the globe. The El Niño and La Niña phenomena, characterized by fluctuations in the ocean's temperature, have far-reaching impacts on global weather patterns. Perhaps the most fascinating feature of the Pacific is its deep-sea trenches, the deepest parts of the world's oceans. The Mariana Trench, reaching depths of over 36,000 feet, is the deepest point in the ocean. These depths are so extreme that they're inhospitable to most life forms, yet certain creatures have astonishingly managed to adapt to this harsh environment. In 1960, humans reached the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, known as the Challenger Deep, for the first time. The Trieste, a specially designed bathyscape, carried Jacques Picard and Don Walsh to this alien world. The mission was a testament to human curiosity and the irresistible allure of the unknown. The Pacific is also a hotbed of geothermal and volcanic activity. The Ring of Fire, a major area in the basin of the Pacific Ocean, is associated with a nearly continuous series of oceanic trenches, volcanic arcs, volcanic belts and plate movements. It's responsible for 75% of the world's active volcanoes and 90% of the world's earthquakes. Among the most notorious of these volcanoes is Krakatoa in Indonesia. Its eruption in 1883 was one of the deadliest and most destructive volcanic events in recorded history. The explosion could be heard as far away as Australia, and the resulting tsunamis caused widespread devastation. The Pacific is also the birthplace of the phenomenon known as tsunamis. These giant waves, often caused by undersea earthquakes, can travel at high speeds across the ocean. The 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami in Japan was one of the most devastating in recent history 
causing extensive loss of life and triggering a nuclear disaster. The Pacific Ocean also holds significant economic value. It's a crucial route for international trade, with billions of tons of cargo crossing its waters each year. The Panama Canal, opened in 1914, significantly shortened the travel time between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, revolutionizing global shipping. The ocean's resources, too, are of great importance. It provides a bounty of fish, which form a crucial part of the diet for many coastal and island communities. In fact, the Pacific supplies more than half of the world's fish catch. Besides fish, the Pacific also holds vast reserves of natural resources, such as oil and gas. Exploration and extraction of these resources have been a source of both economic boom and environmental concern. The 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico is a stark reminder of the potential dangers associated with deep-sea oil drilling. The Pacific Ocean is also the final resting place for many historic shipwrecks. From Spanish galleons laden with New World gold to the ill-fated Titanic, the ocean's depths are a watery graveyard holding countless stories of human ambition, adventure, and tragedy. Another tragic tale associated with the Pacific is that of nuclear testing. During the mid-20th century, certain areas of the Pacific, such as Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands, were used for nuclear weapons testing by the United States. The environmental and health impacts of these tests continue to be felt to this day. Amid these human impacts, the Pacific also grapples with the broader challenge of climate change. Rising sea levels threaten low-lying islands, while warmer ocean temperatures and ocean acidification endanger the health of coral reefs and other marine ecosystems. One visible sign of human impact on the Pacific is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a vast accumulation of plastic waste floating in the ocean's gyres. This environmental issue represents a serious threat to marine life and underscores the need for sustainable waste management practices. Despite the challenges, the Pacific Ocean remains a place of remarkable beauty and biodiversity. It is home to a plethora of unique marine habitats. The kelp forests of the Pacific Northwest, for instance, are teeming with life, providing food and shelter for a wide array of species, from the tiny invertebrates to the larger marine mammals like sea otters. The Pacific also has many seamounts, underwater mountains that rise from the ocean floor but don't reach the surface. These seamounts are biodiversity hotspots, hosting a wide variety of marine life. Some seamounts are also home to hydrothermal vents, which spew out mineral-rich water, providing a unique environment where unusual life forms like tube worms and vent crabs thrive. Yet, there is so much about the Pacific that remains unknown. In your time, only a fraction of the ocean's depths have been explored. Even with advances in technology, exploring the deep sea is a formidable challenge due to the extreme conditions, intense pressure, low temperatures, and complete darkness. But every expedition into the Pacific's depths brings new discoveries. In 1977, scientists exploring the Galapagos Rift found hydrothermal vents teeming with life, a discovery that revolutionized our understanding of where and how life could exist. Creatures previously unknown to science, thriving in darkness and extreme temperatures, challenged the notion that sunlight was necessary for life. The Pacific's vastness and depth create a natural sound channel, where low-frequency sounds can travel thousands of kilometers without significant loss of energy. This property was used during the Cold War to detect submarines using a network of underwater microphones known as the Sound Surveillance System SOSIS. The Pacific also has a rich cultural history, with stories and traditions passed down through generations. The Maori of New Zealand, for instance, have navigated these waters for centuries using traditional methods. They view the ocean not just as a resource, but as a living entity, Te Moana Nui Akiwa, with its own life force. This respect and reverence for the Pacific Ocean can be found across many cultures. In Japan, the sea is celebrated in traditional art forms such as Yukio-e, where scenes of crashing waves and sea creatures are common themes. In Hawaii, the ocean is integral to the practice of surfing, a sport that has its origins in ancient Polynesian culture. The Pacific Ocean has also been the muse for countless artists, writers, and filmmakers. From the seascapes of J.M.W. Turner to the writings of Herman Melville in Moby Dick, and the iconic surfing scenes in the film, The Endless Summer, the ocean's allure is timeless and universal. The Pacific has also been a crucial theater in global geopolitics. During World War II, the Pacific Ocean was the backdrop for major battles between Allied and Axis powers. The Battle of Midway, 
fought near the Midway Atoll, marked a turning point in the war against Japan. The legacy of these battles can still be seen today. Numerous World War II shipwrecks lie at the bottom of the Pacific, serving as poignant reminders of the past. Some of these wrecks have become artificial reefs, providing habitats for a variety of marine life. The Pacific Ocean also plays a vital role in global communications. Under its surface are numerous trans-Pacific submarine cables that transmit data between continents. These cables are the backbone of the Internet, enabling instant communication across the globe. Today, scientific research in the Pacific is more important than ever. From studying the impacts of climate change on coral reefs to tracking the migration patterns of whales, the knowledge gained from these studies is crucial for conservation efforts and our understanding of the Earth's complex ecosystems. Until we meet again, farewell.